Hey everyone! So I'm so excited to be back in front of the camera. So for you that don't know, the reason I didn't put up videos for like almost two weeks is because I went on a mission trip to Honduras. Um, and so I was like really worried and I thought maybe someone might do a video for me, but it's okay. It, because that didn't happen. But, um, I think it was good to take a break, sort of, from YouTube and all its wonderfulness, I guess. Yeah. So anyways, um, today's video, I'm like, oh my word, I need to get a video up for Six Sense Horses. And, um... It's going to be really bad, but that's okay because we're not perfect, and it's okay to admit your mistakes, but I show, I will show a video of me dismounting from my horse bareback, and I'm really bad at it because, I don't know, you can't like put your foot in the stirrup, push off, and like get off really good. So I look like a really uncoordinated person but basically that's how you're gonna get off when you're barebacks and everyone does it a little differently no one does it the same way <laughs> so um, that's what you're gonna see today so I hope you enjoy that and on my regular channel Arabian Star 07 I will be doing um, a video of clips and videos and all sorts of fun stuff from my mission trip so if you're interested in that, go check that out. It's not up yet because I'm still having to work on it. But, um, yeah, I'm so happy to be back in front of the camera. It feels amazing. Okay, you're probably like, yeah, okay, sure. Well, we really missed you. <laughs> okay, um, okay, so for me as a person, I take pride in keeping my promise. So if I say I'm going to make a video every Monday for Six Sense Horses, I want to make sure I keep that promise. Does that make sense? So I know for some people it's going to be, it's hard for you and all, but for me, I like to keep my promise and try and do it. So, um, yeah, you can count on me. It's like a song, you can count on me, like one, two, three, anyways, okay. So I'm going to do a little review. Um, this is on the products from Lather, the brand Lather. Um, it's the mint time moisturizer this is so good it seems like during the summertime when I'm riding horses I tend to use body products a lot more when I ride horses does that even make sense why would you anyways I do so sorry <laughs> but it smells oh my word it would just be worth the money just to get it for its smell but anyways it works so good it's a lotion and it's really moisturizing um, you have to shake it a bit, but, um, it just, I don't know what it is that's in here, but it's amazing. Definitely go check out the Lather product line. Anyways, I love this one and I highly rec recommend it. It wasn't in my Protect Your Skin Care video. No, it wasn't. So, um, I just found out about it. So I really like it. All right, the next is a mint thyme. It's I think you pronounce it thyme, don't you? It's not thyme. It's thyme. If I'm wrong, you can correct me. Anyways, this is also by Lather. This is their mint thyme cream rinse. Smells so good. So it's like conditioner. Do you remember cream rinse back in the olden days when they called conditioner cream rinse? Does anyone remember that? I freaked out when I saw the cream rinse. I'm like, cream rinse? What is cream rinse? Oh, it's conditioner. So, yeah. If any of you remember when we used to call it cream rinse, that's what that is. And it smells so good. And it works so good on my hair. And it just kind of exfoliates it. And, I don't know, it's just everything good. So, it's worth it. All right. The next one is the hair wash. It's, like, from a different country. Who calls shampoo hair wash? Whatever. Okay, it's lather, it's mint time. Okay, you guys need to excuse my nails. I'm sorry. It's just that when in Honduras, you don't have time to redo your nails, okay? So if you have a problem with that, then you can keep those comments to yourself, and I would very much appreciate it. So anyways, this is the hair wash. Oh. Okay. And this one also smells... 
I don't know, it smells exactly what it says. It smells like mint, thyme, lemon, maybe a little bit of honey mixed in. I don't know, it smells really good. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and move on into the regular video. All right, so I'm gonna show you how to dismount from your horse. So what you're going to do is you're wanna, going to take um, the reins Western style just into one hand. And with that hand, you're just gonna hold these reins kind of like up the nape of his neck. And then this is what you're gonna do. On your right leg over here, you're gonna swing it behind you. You're not gonna swing it in front of you. You're gonna swing it in behind you. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then I'll sh try and tell you the other stuff, I guess. Basically, you just slide off the horse without falling. So what I do is I just slide my foot off my horse and you just land on your tippy toes. You wanna try not to like, like break them, but just kind of like, not land here, but land kind of on the tips. And then what you do is you just come over here, give your horse a big hug, you pat him and he really wants to get his bridle off, but he's not gonna stop riding, so. So that's how you dismount. I hope that was useful to you, and you guys have an awesome night.